Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10-minute routine to do for chakra vibration. If you're not already familiar with the chakra system in the body, they are seven energy centers that go from the base of your tailbone all the way up to the top of your head. There are seven of these energy centers and we call them chakras. So through these chakras, you can receive energy and you can give energy outside. Today, we will experience receiving energy into our chakras by creating vibrations in our body to open up blockages, open up anything that's stagnant along your chakra line. Now, first, I will briefly go over where each of your chakras are. The first chakra is at the base of your tailbone. Actually, the exact location is in between your sexual organ and your anus. So right here, it's called the perineum. So when you sit in half lotus posture like this, sit, try to sit at that point and then stack your spine up. That is your first chakra. Your second chakra is two inches below your navel. So this is my belly button, two inches below. And then imagine two inches inside. That's your second chakra. Your third chakra is your solar plexus, kind of underneath your diaphragm, in between your stomach on your left side, liver on your right side. So it's right here, this is your third chakra. Fourth chakra is your heart at the center of your chest. The exact location is at the center of your nipples. So if you have your nipples here and then right at the center here is your fourth chakra. Your fifth chakra right here at the dip of your your clavicle, your collarbone right here, fifth chakra, sixth chakra in between your eyebrows, your third eye, seventh chakra, the highest point at the top of your head where babies have their soft spot right here, that's your seventh chakra. So we're gonna do vibrations. I'll show you how to do vibrations from your first all the way up to your seventh so you can clear that energy channel of your chakras. Are you ready? First, sit in half lotus posture like me. And then as I mentioned, try to sit on your first chakra between your sexual organ and your anus right in the middle called the perineum. Sit there and then have your hands on your knees and then lift your tailbone and drop. Lift, drop, like this, lift, drop. Now when you drop, you should feel some vibration at the base of your pelvic floor, that perineum right there. Lift and drop. So when you drop, you really need to drop. Don't lift and then gently place down because then you won't feel the shaking. You won't feel the vibration. So lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Let's do 10 times. One, two, three, four, you can close your eyes too. Once you get the hang of it, you can close your eyes so you can feel the vibrations more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, stop. Now close your eyes and feel the perineum. You can feel, if you're sensitive to energy, you can feel subtle tingling sensation underneath. Can you feel that? That's vibration in your chakra. So if you want to do more of that, you can, but I'm going to move up to the second chakra. Now, close your eyes and feel your second chakra. Place your mind two inches below your navel and two inches inside. As we open up each of the chakras, the first step is to bring your mind to that point. So now focus your mind on your second chakra. And then when I count to three, imagine a huge burst of energy going into your second chakra. And as you receive that burst of energy, move. Move your second chakra like you're causing a stirring of energy in there, okay? At first, you'll have to do it on your own, but then after a certain point, the energy will take over and you will move your body naturally, all right? Close your eyes, bring your mind to your second chakra. One, two, three, move. Move your second chakra like you're causing a vibration in there. There's no right or wrong answer, just feel. Just feel. Breathe naturally. Move your second chakra. 
As you move your second chakra, you might feel some blockages you have around there. So lower back, sacrum. A lot of people have lower back sacrum blockage because of sitting down for too long. Just move, you don't have to move that much, just move a little bit to cause a stirring, shaking in your second chakra. Let's go for 10 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Now feel your body. Can you feel that tingling, subtle sensation, that kind of electric sensation? has now expanded from the bottom up. Now you kind of feel it in a bigger area of your first and second chakra. Can you feel that? All right, now focus your mind on your third chakra, right in between your stomach and liver, underneath your diaphragm right here. If you need reference, open your eyes a little bit and see where I'm pointing to on my body, right here. All right, so now focus your mind on your third chakra. I will do the same thing. I will count one, two, three. Imagine a huge burst of energy going into your third chakra and move your third chakra this time, okay? Focus on moving just this area. All right, place your mind there. Close your eyes. One, two, three. Move your third chakra. You can move in a circle, you can move up and down, you can move any way you'd like. Just keep the intention of circulating stagnant energy, moving energy from your third chakra. Breathe naturally. Sometimes here you can also feel pain in your stomach, pain in your liver. Pain means I'm holding blockage there. Keep breathing, move. Ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Focus on your third chakra. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Close your eyes. Feel your body. You can feel that tingling sensation has expanded more. Maybe you feel it in your hands. Maybe you feel it in your whole abdomen now. Feel how that tingling electric sensation is getting bigger and bigger inside. If you can feel that, you're doing great. Now, place your mind on your fourth chakra at the center of your chest. This is where your heart chakra is. Bring your mind here. I will count to three. Imagine a huge burst of energy going into your heart. One, two, three. Move your chest. Create vibration in your chest. Leave your mouth slightly open. Exhale through your mouth. <sighs> If you carry a lot of stress moving around like this, you'll feel you can't breathe very well. So to help your body breathe, leave your mouth open, exhale through your mouth. You can move in a circle, you can move up and down, anything is okay. Cause shaking in your body to release blockage in your chest. <sighs> Ten more seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Keep your eyes closed. Feel your body. Can you feel that electric tingling sensation has expanded even more? You feel it even wider throughout your whole body. If you can, you're doing great. Keep closing your eyes, focus on your body. Now, bring your mind to your third eye, sixth chakra. Focus around the energy of your sixth chakra. I will count to three. When I do, please shake your head side to side, up and down, in a circle, anything you'd like to open up blockages from your third eye. Are you ready? One, two, Three, shake your sixth chakra. You don't have to shake too much. Just cause gentle vibrations in that chakra to open up blockages, let energy flow once again. Breathe.
keep breathing <sighs> all the blockages in your brain third eye are releasing through your vibration shaking let's do 10 more seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one stop feel your body now you will feel a lot of tingling inside from your hands to your whole body your legs in your torso neck shoulders and even your brain if you can feel that gently nod your head you're doing great energy is expanding more and more your chakras are activating more and more if you can feel that tingling your chakras are activating more and more now focus your attention on the top of your head seventh chakra the highest point in your head this is the last chakra we will vibrate same thing bring your mind here i will count to three a huge burst of energy will go into your seventh chakra one two three shake shake your seventh chakra It still feels like you're shaking your head, but your point of focus is different from your sixth chakra. Focus on the top of your head and shake the top of your head. Cause vibration on the top of your head. Exhale out. Don't hold your breath. Ha. 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 You can let out a gentle sigh like I am too. It'll help you release tension from your brain. Uh, 10 more seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop, feel your whole body, you will feel a lot of tingling from the top of your head to your fingertips, to your legs, even your toe tips. If you're very sensitive to energy, you might feel a bright light in front of you, even though your eyes are closed. You may feel warmth in your hands, or you may feel coldness in your body. If you feel heat, coldness, tingling, a pulsing sensation, if you see light in front of you, even though your eyes are closed, all of these are signs of energy moving freely inside. Now open your eyes. Congratulations. Check to see how you feel. Some people feel energy a different way, but see, how do I feel different from before? And if you feel like 10 minutes wasn't enough to open all of your chakras, feel free to re-watch and redo this exercise. Again, if you do it a second time, a third time, you will feel a lot more energy flowing throughout. And you can even do this in the morning every single day or at night every single day. The key to energy work is build and practice daily. Even if it's a small amount, consistent practice daily is what will change your energy in your body and especially in this video, in your chakras. You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.